Welcome back. We are still on the topic statistics. In the previous video, we learned how to find the mean deviation from a frequency distribution table. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the standard deviation and variance of a set of numbers. Standard deviation and variance of a set of numbers. Given that x1, x2, x3 up to xn are a set of n numbers, then the standard deviation is given by x. And x is equal to square root of sigma x minus the mean of x squared divided by n, where n is the number of numbers that you have. The variance of a distribution is equal to the standard deviation squared. So if the standard deviation is x, then the variance will be x squared. When you square both sides, the square will get rid of the square root. So x squared will be equal to sigma x minus the mean of x squared divided by n. Let's apply what we have learned here to solve some questions. Let's consider this question. Find the standard deviation and variance of the following set of numbers. 10, 11, 15, 10, 6, and 5. We have learned that the standard deviation is equal to square root of sigma x minus the mean of x squared divided by n where n is the number of numbers. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 numbers and so n is equal to 6. I'll draw a simple 3 column table here. In the first column I'll have the x values, in the second column I'll have the x minus the mean values and in the last column I'll have x minus the mean squared. To get x minus the mean of x, we first have to find the mean. We will get the mean by adding the numbers together and dividing it by their number. When we counted them, there were 6 in number. So we add all of them and we divide it by 6. We are going to have 5 plus 6 plus 10 plus 10 plus 11 plus 15. Divided by 6 will give us 9.5. So we can now find x minus the mean. The mean is 9.5. So we subtract 9.5 from each one of these values. So the first one will be 5 minus 9.5, which is negative 4.5. The next one is 6 minus 9.5, which is negative 3.5. The next one is 10 minus 9.5, which is 0 0.5. We have another 10 minus 9.5, which is 0 0.5. The next one is 11 minus 9.5, which is 1.5. And the last one is 15 minus 9.5, and that will be 5.5. We can now find x minus the mean squared. So you square all the numbers here. The first one will be negative 4.5 squared, which will give us 20.25. The next one is negative 3.5 squared. That will give us 12.25. The next one is 0 0.5 squared, that is 0 0.25. Another 0 0.5 squared is 0 0.25. 1.5 squared is 2.25. And 5.5 squared is 30.25. We need the sum of the values here, so we add everything together. When we add everything together, sigma x minus the mean squared will be 65.5. So we can now find the standard deviation. The standard deviation will be equal to square root of 65.5 divided by 6. And this will give us 3.30. The question said we should find the standard deviation and variance. We know that the variance is equal to the standard deviation squared. The standard deviation is 3.30. And so the variance will be equal to 3.30 squared. And this will give us 10.8. Nine. So the standard deviation is 3.30 and the variance is 10.89. Let's consider the next question. 
Find the standard deviation and variance of the following set of numbers. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, and 15. We know that the standard deviation is equal to square root of sigma x minus the mean squared divided by n. When we count the numbers, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it means that n is equal to 8. I'll draw my three column table here with the first column occupying the x values. The x values will occupy the first column. And then in the second column, we have the x minus the mean of x. And then the next column will be x minus the mean of x squared. In the second column, we need x minus the mean of x, which means that we will first have to find the mean. We will get the mean by adding all the numbers and dividing it by their number. They are 8 in number, so we add all of them and we divide it by 8. 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 12 plus 15 divided by 8 is 9. So we now have the mean to be 9. In this column, we need x minus the mean. So it will be the x values here minus the mean. The first one will be 5 minus 9, which is negative 4. The next one is 6 minus 9, which is negative 3. 7 minus 9 is negative 2. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. 9 minus 9 is 0. 10 minus 9 is 1. 12 minus 9 is 3. And 15 minus 9 is 6. In the third column, we have x minus the mean squared and so we are going to square the values that we have here because these are the x minus the mean values so if you need x minus the mean squared we have to square the values here so you have negative 4 squared that will be 16 negative 3 squared is 9 negative 2 squared is 4 negative 1 squared is 1 0 squared is 0 1 squared is 1 3 squared is 9, and 6 squared is 36. We need the sum of these values, so you add all of them together. When we add all of them together, we are going to have 76. So, sigma x minus the mean squared is 76. So, we can now find the standard deviation. The standard deviation will be called to square root of sigma x minus the mean squared, which we have found to be 76 divided by the number of numbers, which is 8. And this will give us 3.08. We have the standard deviation, and so we can find the variance. Remember, the variance is equal to the standard deviation squared. So if the standard deviation is 3.08, then the variance will be equal to 3.08 squared, which is 9.49. So the standard deviation is 3.08 and the variance is 9.49. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In this video, we have learned how to find the standard deviation and variance of a set of numbers. In the next video, we are going to learn how to find the standard deviation and variance from a frequency distribution table. Bye-bye.